Welcome back to Good Day Stateland. We're hanging out with Michaela today at Midwest Stone Source and Design Studio. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming. In your beautiful kitchen. It's amazing. <laughs> so kitchen's just one of the things that you guys do here, but it's definitely what we want to talk about today. Uh, is this a great time of year to like start a project, start thinking about how you want to redesign your kitchen? Absolutely. Um, a lot of people tend to start thinking about it, especially when tax season's coming up. They sure. use some of that money towards it and it is a process that you kind of have to start it, it takes a little time yeah. so it's definitely a good time to start thinking about it Absolutely. I think too you know with the holidays um, you kind of are in your kitchen a lot and you might be able to take note of what you're missing what you don't like <laughs> yeah. and things that you want to change yeah it's definitely yeah a good a goal good for, yeah. to, for the next holiday season to exactly. have your new revamped kitchen uh, so tell us a little bit about some of the most important elements of kitchen design um, I'd say definitely the most important is functionality especially you know with baking in, in mind. Some yeah. people like to have those big islands. You can use your use your island for cookie baking and sure. things like that. Um, but it's definitely an area that is transformed over the years. Mm -hmm. It's more of an entertaining space and so people like to kind of incorporate that for dining as well. Um, some people work from home in their kitchen so it's definitely an ever-evolving thing. So it, it, it's definitely per household how you want to use it. Sure. I feel like we're trending kind of back to a different time. Like in the 90s and the early 2000s, it was more um, getting away from your house and not being home yes. and like not really utilizing all that space. And cooking was kind of down then too, but now we're back to being home a lot more and entertaining finally. We're excited to have yes, our friends over absolutely. and people love to hang in the kitchen. Yeah, it's, it's definitely spot. the cool spot in yeah. the house. So. <laughs> so you want it to look cool yes. and you want it to be easy to you know use functionality wise. Tell me about the kitchen triangle rule. So the kitchen triangle rule actually was developed back in the 1940s. Okay. And it was kind of based off of this idea that there is one person in the kitchen and that one person is prepping, cooking, cleaning, and so everything basically had to be in this measured perfect triangle. Okay. Um, we've kind of gone away from that. Like we said, it's just kitchens are evolving, they're getting bigger, Sure. they're becoming more entertaining spaces, and some people like to cook with their families, so it's not as necessary. To have the triangle. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And a lot of people too, you know, they find their dream home, but the kitchen is older, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe they you just moved or you're planning on moving and you know that the house is great, but the kitchen has that 1940 style or yeah. 1990 style, and so you can just obviously give you a call and get started on revamping your kitchen for what you need. Absolutely. Yeah. So what are some new trends for 2023? Um, 2023 is very similar to 2022 as yeah. far as trends go. Uh, greens are very popular. Those are going to be coming in as far like as... Like this green? Yeah, okay. greens and blues um, definitely bring in some more natural colors. Sure. Um, white kitchens are still very popular, but we're seeing a lot more of the wood tones come in, some warmer tones with the white, so it's not white on white on white. It's yeah. a little bit, a little bit different. Kind of like so. this. Yeah, it gets different textures, different elements to kind of give it some depth, so. And what about um, lights and lighting? Um, lighting, we're seeing lots of recess lights, just nice and bright. And then typically we'll do a lot of um, like statement pendants over the island. Sure. That's, that's usually what. I feel like one of the things that uh, people start with when they plan their kitchen is the countertops. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. What's trendy about uh, the countertops for 2023? Uh, quartz. People love quartz. Yeah. The, the white and the, the gray. Um, but a lot of times when they come in, they want quartz and they end up with granite. Yeah. Granite is just so unique. It's It's got so many different colors and textures in it and it's one of a kind, you know, so you can have it in the kitchen. And, yeah. You well, I kind of love like walking into this space, you know, you want to, you're like, oh, I wouldn't have put that with that or that with that, but you kind of have it set up here where someone's going to be like, I want this kitchen. The whole thing. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, Michaela, if someone wants to get in touch with you guys and get things started, how do we start? You can give us a call. Um, we, or we are located right off of Charles on 23rd Street. We're open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, but we can do after hour weekend appointments where we're pretty flexible. So whenever people are available. Next, we are off to Goodwill on the GDS Holiday Gift Guide, and then we're making cinnamon roll bites for Air Friday. We'll be right back.